Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today. I'm excited you're here. I'm excited to be back. And before I go on, I wanna do a little shout out to In The Game. I'm so glad you're back. I was very worried about you and you're awesome. You support everybody and you're, you're just fabulous on all the channels and you're the funniest guy. You know, I thought I was funny. You're funnier than I am. So anyway, I enjoy seeing you. So check him out. He likes Vegas. He likes to gamble. You know, he goes back and forth and he used to be a slot technician. I'm amazed by that because I, I know you know the little secrets. So anyway, check him out. And two fab dudes, I'm honored. You came over to check me out, and I checked out your channel, and it's great. Oh, my gosh. They go to Disney World. They go gambling. They go everywhere. So, anyway, check them out. They're a lot of fun. So, check these people out. So, anyway, real quick, the, uh, this is such an easy craft. I'm almost embarrassed. I'm almost embarrassed to show you this. But this is going to be a tote bag made out of a t-shirt. So, grab the old t-shirt that you're not using, and it can be any size. You know, if you want a small one, grab a smaller little, you know, grab a smaller little t-shirt. But if you want a bigger one, grab a, you know, grab a big t-shirt. And like I tell you, we stack these up in the garage. They're going out. And I didn't even like what it said on it, so I turned it inside out. But let me show you real quick. And I made one already. I made one already. And it's a no-sew project. You're not going to have to sew. It's so easy. This is all it is. It's just a t-shirt cut out. You're going to cut the neckline. You're going to cut the sleeves off. And you're going to tie a knot at the bottom. And the good thing about these, you can wash them. Because the other day, I washed a tote bag. I had a really nice tote bag. I washed it, and guess what? It shrunk to be this big. The canvas, don't wash those. These you can wash, so I keep them in my car. And I lay them flat, you know. It, it, you know, it's no big deal. I was like, and these are going out. You know, we're getting rid of them. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna cut the neckline. And if you wanna be precise, you can get a bowl. You can get like one of your Pyrex bowls and cut it really nice, but you don't have to worry about that. And you decide how the width of your handles are. I don't, I don't really care about mine. You know, I, I don't, two inches, three inches, and I can go ahead and cut around the neckline, so. And I'm hoping my scissors do the trick today. They were very, very dull. Yeah, yeah, I've been cutting cans. <laughs> I've been cutting cans for my garden and stuff, so they're not working very well. So here you go, I'm just gonna cut the neckline. And you can stretch as you go, you know, stretch it so that you can make the bag just the way you want. So I'm cutting around the neckline. And I was like, I'm almost embarrassed to show them this. Y'all probably know how to do this already. It's, <laughs> it's so easy. Oops, okay, okay, I'm stuck here. Okay, okay, you can see where this is going. Okay, okay, so you cut the neckline out. My kitty cat's in the house thinking I left her out in the yard. She's sad. <laughs> she can come in in a minute. But okay, and here, whoops, okay, let me get started. Okay, I'm using these little craft scissors that I bought. I was like, I don't know what's wrong with my good scissors. So anyhow, I hope everybody's doing great. I've been so excited. I saved a dog's life yesterday. I felt like Superman, oh my gosh. It was running in and out of traffic and I saw the lady like panicking, like that's my dog. And I didn't even think, I just pulled over and I walked over to the dog and I, I stopped traffic. I was like, stop. I was like, don't you run over me, I thought. I walked over to the dog and I was like, come here pup, come here. And he kind of looked at me and he was kind of curious and, and I don't know, maybe it was my voice or what. Maybe that's a little more commanding than I expected to be. I was like, come here, come here. And he walked right up to me and I grabbed him. And traffic was running back and forth on both sides and I thought, I can't witness this. I can't, I can't see something happen to this poor little dog. And it was the most beautiful dog. It looked like a Muppet. It had the little hairstyle, you know, the little lopsops and it was gray. And oh my gosh, I saved that dog and I picked him up and I took him to the owner and she said, I couldn't believe it. She said, I couldn't, I, I wanted to chase him down so bad and run out into traffic, but my baby is in the car by herself. And I'm already so many feet away from her, I couldn't leave my baby and go chase the dog. And I thought, oh no, I thought, well, here you go. I thought, I'm so glad I could help. So all day long yesterday, I was in such a great mood. I was such a great, oh, and my husband bought me this taco t-shirt because we went to go eat Mexican food and today's Taco Tuesday. So I loved it because it looked like ACDC. Uh, he was like, here, here, I'll get you a t-shirt. And I was like, that's my reward. I saved a dog and I got a taco t-shirt. I love it. So here's the other sleeve, cut it off. So you're basically making it into a tank top. You can see where this is kind of going. And you know, I cut above the seam. I cut above, but you decide. You decide if you want to go above the seam or if you want to make the strap 
a little bit wider. So I don't care, you know, I'm, to me, I'm just like, you know, it's gonna shrink if I wash it over and over again. I'm trying to make it neat and take these sleeves off. Okay, I'm having problems with scissors, guys, today. None of them are sharp. I need to sharpen them and get that out. I've got a stone outside. And I was like, oh, I don't wanna go get it. I was like, oh, I just wanna do this real easy. This little easy project just to show them. I thought this is no big deal. No big deal. Everybody's been doing great. Oh my gosh, in the game, you're so sweet. Thank you for thank you for showing my channel off. That was so I was so embarrassed. Gosh. Okay, here it is. Okay, you've got this shirt. You've cut the sleeves off. You've cut the neckline off. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna gather it. But I tell you what, since I want this side, I want the plain side on the outside instead of the goofy picture. I'm gonna turn it inside out. Turn it inside out. And it had something. It had something funny. Look, it's a. It was this funny cop t-shirt. And here all this time, I just thought we had a lousy sketch artist. And the guy was actually like, you know, a stick figure and the person was a stick figure that they caught. Ha ha. So, you know, cop humor. Somebody gave it to my husband. So I was like, eh, I don't like it. I mean, you know, it's, it's, he, he used it, trust me. I think he even wore it to the casino one time. I was like, oh my gosh. Why are you wearing that shirt, I thought. Okay, so tie your knot. And you make the knot as tight as you want, you know. And you can, you know, you can, you can kind of see where this is going, guys. And then you're gonna turn it inside out. Yay, there it is, okay. Gather it, okay. And then turn it inside out. Whoops, got a flower there, because that's gonna be for my shoes. And there it is, there it is. There's the little bag. So I've made a navy blue one, and I've made a sage colored one. And I really like it, and you can decorate it. You know, you could paint it, you could put buttons. You know, I have some like pin buttons that I might decorate it with, but this is so great, because all I gotta do is I gotta put my book in here to go to the beach, put my bottle of water, maybe my beach towel, and you know, it goes over my shoulder, it fits perfectly, and when it gets all sandy and gross, I throw it in the wash. So, it's perfect, you know, I like it. So you see what you can do with it, and grab an old t-shirt, and if not, the dollar store has t-shirts now. So that's so easy. So the second little project, I decorated these flip-flops. I have two pair of these, and I spent a lot of money on these. They're Brighton, you know, the Brighton store at the mall, but I hate the silver one. I hate these gray ones. They look cheap to me. The black ones I like. These, I use them to go out in the backyard. And the other day I thought, you know, I paid a lot of money for these. I'm gonna decorate them and make them better, and I'm gonna wear them with my jeans to go out. So I got a Coke, you know, I, I collect Coke products, so. I got the little Coke bottle deals. I was gonna do Topo Chico, but I decided to do Coke. And all I did, guys, I just went ahead and I I added my my little my little flower. And pick whatever flower you want. You know, I like the light colored ones. Here's purple, here's whatever. And mine have a little, mine had a little ridges and little holes in there. So it was super easy to put that. Whoops, here we go. Okay. Well, maybe I didn't fit that one in right. Let me do another one real quick. Okay. Let me see if I can put that one in there. Okay, there it is. See, it's almost, mine was easy to work with. You could even put a pinhole to, uh, with a, uh, with a uh, um, what do you call it? Ice picker, uh, ice pick. But if not, just glue it on top. You know, super easy. I'm gonna cut the bottom off a little bit. I'm gonna reinforce it. Add some glue. And let's see if I don't burn myself today. Here we go, use these. Okay, okay, see what I can grab here. Okay, and then I added buttons. Okay, let me put my Coke bottle deal. You know, I like the Coke, I collect, you know, I collect all kinds of stuff, but I love bottle caps. I've always, you know, I've always liked them. My dream was to do a table with a, with a piece of plastic on top, you know, for like a bar thing. I never did it, I never did it. I was going to, and I, I go to Fuddruckers and I see all their stuff and I'm like, man, that looks so great. Okay, so there's my coat button. I'm trying to make it kind of just like the other one, you know, just imitating the other one that I made already. And glue on as good as you can. Try not to burn myself. Oh, I already burned myself. I thought, come on over here and watch me burn myself. Okay and add whatever buttons you have. I have all these buttons, like I tell you. I might do button jewelry next week. I've been thinking about it, but I grabbed white. I grabbed white and just a little bit of color. 
So, so you know, use what you have. You get free buttons all the time. If you don't like that, add seashells would be beautiful. Anything, anything you have, little pom-poms, little seashells. I had a friend that would tie little, uh, little balloons around. She would just get the colorful balloons and she would tie them all around her little flip-flop. And they looked so great and it was waterproof. It didn't matter. So I'm like that with the buttons. To me, the buttons don't matter. If I lose one, I just get another one. I just get another one because I have all these buttons. So super easy, guys. Like I tell you, I'm almost embarrassed to show you this, but I don't like these shoes. I saved them for the backyard, and I thought, you know, I can't believe that you spent all that money on those dumb shoes to wear them out in the backyard to go pick your tomatoes. Because I have tomatoes and I have uh, peppers, so I don't, I'm not a gardener at all. I wish I was. I don't know anything about it, you know. I try, but it's it's so great. It's just enough to put on my quesadillas and I'm happy. So I'm like, yep, oh, that's as much gardening as I'm doing. But I wish, I'm, I'm on these sites now and I see these people, oh my gosh, their gardens are beautiful. I'm like, I wanna do that. Yep, yep, I wanna do that. Okay, let me see, do I have another black button? Okay, this one's kind of weird because I got glue on it, but I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, whoops, there it is. Okay, kind of like it, kind of like it. And I went along the side on this one, so I'm gonna continue to go on the side on this one right here, just so they can match. Oops, it's this side. So just, maybe I should've did it on the outside, but it came with a charm already, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. So anyway, you can see where this is going and use what you have, guys. I know you either have buttons, seashells, little things at home that you can stick on here. I had a friend and she used to put pennies on hers and it looked like a million bucks. I'm like, are those pennies? And she said, yeah, I use the shiniest pennies I can and I make a little, a little triangle and I put the pennies in the front and they looked great. So anyway, you do what you can and you know, do the little book bag because I don't want to take up everybody's time. This is so easy the book bag so use the book bags and just tie a knot on the bottom or you can sew it if you want to but I know nobody likes to sew so do these or decorate your pretty little flip-flops whoops I need a button right here at the top so anyway take care everybody and thank you for coming back y'all are doing great and I appreciate it and happy taco Tuesday be safe bye